So I think that the story behind IHV is still um, evolving, right? So we used to look at IGHV unmutated versus mutated status as being a real prognostic factor that predicts patients having deep responses, specifically with FCR, chemoimmunotherapy. Now, when the BTK inhibitor brutinib was approved and we looked at long-term studies looking at a brutinib, it looked like IGHV mutational status didn't really matter as much for patients who were on continuous therapy. Um, but it looks like now uh, with time limit therapy, IGHV mutated status likely does matter. Um, and we've seen some interesting data looking at combination of ibrutinib and venetoclax showing that patients who have unmutated status are more likely to attain a undetectable minimal residual disease, which is really interesting. And we really need to see how these patients do in the long term. So I think that the story is being still being told about unmutated IGHV what role does it play in the prognosis of our patients with different therapies? Um, and uh, I'm excited to see where that goes as well.